Hey everyone. Um, I was reading comments for the YouTube channel yesterday and someone left me a comment and asked me if I would do some flip throughs of stuff that I've made and I said yes I would. So since the desk is cleaned off momentarily I flipped you know flipped the nasty mat over and here is the back side which is probably 99.9% .9 clean. <laughs> And I don't know how long it'll stay away. Anyway, so I'm going to do a flip through of this book. I, I, It's small, but it's wide. This is the spine. Um, I was inspired by my friend Cindy Utter, who did a book called Large Marge. And it took her a year. And the thing is humongous. You have got to go look at the flip through because it is amazing. Um, so what I did was I did like the mini Marge. <laughs> um, I don't know what we're going to call, what, what I call this, but I just know that it's done. So I will do a flip through. Like I said, this is the spine. I did the three hole pamphlet stitch and missed my mark. Let me go down a little further so you can see it. Missed my mark just a bit right here because I, I don't know what happened. I just didn't get my my uh, stuff lined up here in the in the middle. There are one, two, three, four, five signatures, and the outside is made with uh, deli paper that I painted or well, actually didn't paint it. I scraped it with a credit card, and then I did a stencil on top of it but I can't remember what I used to do the white with it might have been white paint that was very diluted I made this a while ago so I just don't remember how I did it but I know this is deli paper that I put on top of uh, some kind of a cardboard box that I got out of my cardboard box keeper so there's that nothing on the front nothing on the back it's just plain all right so the inside is still covered with the same kind of paper because you know deli paper is 12 by 12 and this box is just not that large okay so you know it sits up that's what it looks like from the other side with the five signatures in it already let's see where's the front here we go so this is these are all images that uh, like I've said in the past that I harvest from different art journaling magazines um, some of them were things that are uh, things like stamps and this right here this these two envelopes on this page came out of a I bought some kind of a coloring book and it had different things like light post in it and mail post mailboxes like they have in in the UK not like American mailboxes but they're really cute kind they're on a post and they're they're lovely and so one page also had different kinds of envelopes and letters in it. So what I did was I colored them and cut them out. Should have photocopied them before I did it, but I wasn't thinking. So I just doodled on this one and then I painted this one and put postage stamps on it. Cut this out of something that said first class mail. I think this is uh, ephemera of some sort. Most of the stuff is my painty papers that are smaller pieces so I could cover up the pages. I did one on Hershey's peanut M&M's, more chocolate bars, and that's on painty paper. Uh, this came out of an art journaling magazine. There you go. And the queen, I don't know where she came from. I can't remember, but she's, yeah, she's a separate image than the stuff for the background. And then I found a crown in my ephemera and put that on there because after all, she deserves a crown. She is queen. This one is about cupcakes. This is washi tape. This was uh, some kind of an embellishment that I got when I traded with somebody with a pocket letter. And it is a, it's supposed, you know, it's supposed to sit, these little E's are supposed to sit up. But, you know, it's in a, see, they sit up a little bit. Because it's in a book, it lays flat. But it was a little uh, flower embellishment somebody made. This is about teddy bears and buttons, just the color brown. These are teddy bears and buttons again. These were individual letters that were stickers. This was cut out of some kind of a magazine. 
and these are die cuts. Again, this came out of a magazine also. This one's called Pigs and Wigs. <laughs> and I think this was part of this, but it was too large to get on the page, so I cut all the other stuff around the words and kept that and then kept the pig in her wig. She looks like Cleopatra Pig. This was just kind of pink, and I did it because I like the pink and the green. It was something that came out of Art Journaling Magazine. Ring the bell. If no answer, pull weeds. <laughs> you see a lot of those signs on gardeners' houses. And then I just cut out potted plants out of a magazine. A is for apple. Cut out the apples. These three are apple stickers, and they're, I don't know, you can, I don't know if you can consider them puffy stickers, but they are two-dimensional. I mean, they do sit up. They're not completely flat, as does the A. It's got dimension on it, too. Watches. I love watches. Watch faces, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of this is ephemera. I got in some ephemera pack. And then a couple of these are magazine, uh, cut out of magazines. Is this two pages? Yeah. All right. Here are those envelopes that I told you that I just colored some of them. I decorated this like I was sending it through the mail. It's just got doodle flowers on it. And then I put postage stamp on it um, because I had some in my, my stamp stash. Watermelon. I think other than strawberries, this is my favorite fruit. And there again are the envelopes. And I just drew little tiny watermelons on the envelopes that came from that, that uh, book. This is about coffee. This is a sticker. The, uh, the little straws are stickers. The, shu uh, the sugar sticker. The little coffee beans are stickers. The, uh, all of this is stickers except for the McCafe and the journal, coffee journal. The rest of this stuff down here are stickers. I love old typewriters. So I went through and looked for words that would, you know, these were what my mom called 50 cent words. This is about pretty packages. These are um, packages that were cut out of different, from different sources. This one's about ladybugs. The flowers, I think, are they stickers? I think the daisies are stickers as are the, um, oh yeah, they are. The daisies are stickers and each one of the daisies has a um, ladybug on it that came with it already. This was a wreath that I cut out of something and each one of these ladybugs is a sticker as is the yellow one too. Did you know there were yellow ladybugs? I went and looked up the different kinds of ladybugs. There's all kinds of colors between besides the red and the black. This is about horses and western things. This was inspired by the boot. And there's another boot. Bryce Canyon National Park. It's about horses and western, that kind of stuff. And these pages are a little shorter than the rest. This is just uh, stuff out of one of those country sampler magazines. And I like the American... Uh, what do they call it? Americana? I like that kind of stuff. My husband's retired military. All right, these are f um, made from embossing folders, and they are foil, sticky back foil paper, and run. it had uh, Adirondack alcohol ink squirted on them, and then I let it dry, and then I ran it through the embossing folder in my cuddle bug. This is black, and I, this is a, I think it's a piece of heavy-duty cardboard ephemera that was in a package of ephemera that I have. Art Journey, just cut that out of a magazine. Color, this was a stamp I had. I just colored it in. I think this is one of the images that I had in my image binder of like the die cuts and that kind of thing that I showed you guys in a previous video, and I pulled it out of there to use it up and then found this in a magazine. This is about chickens and eggs. I ran, so I, I gave uh, Carla at Caged Fish a book that I made from patterns from Genevieve Harrison. And 
when I was making the book, I made her an egg book. And these were images that were left over on a card, so I cut them out. This came from a magazine, and so did this right here. These are magazine images. The, um, the flowers in the bowl and then the love sign. That's a very old thing. All right, this one has, I think it's like a heavy-duty cardboard ephemera. It was all about home and birds. This, uh, the reason, uh, the inspiration for this was this piece right here and that bird. And then I found this bird and I just put the word home on there. This is cut from an art journaling magazine and this is a piece of ephemera that I found in my ephemera stuff. This was based on the fish. These are fish stickers. This came out of a magazine, and the word C came out of a magazine. Embrace Imperfection, that's burlap. See how you can feel it pulled up? Yeah, it's burlap on my painty paper. Words. Just drew around it with black and white Posca pen. This says, be brave. Hang on, you can believe it. You, got, you can do it. Believe you got this. I just like the saying and then just kind of doodled it up a little bit. Like so many stars in the sky, the inspiration from all the star stickers that are on here was this saying that came out of Art Journaling Magazine. Make it great. There's a woman riding a horse. It was. I just like the words. Again, this is burlap. And, it, and then I found a picture in a magazine and it uh, looks like it was something that was on a file or maybe a tag of some sort. It says cherish and it has burlap in it. So I thought, well, that'll be cool. So I found some kind of pinkish paper, which is the same color in the word cherish. And then I had this burlap. And so everything was based on this picture right there. This one says home. And again, this is a wooden piece of ephemera. This is cardboard. And then I I just found that in a magazine. Uh, he loves me, he loves me not. Well, when we were little kids, we took daisies and plucked loves me, loves me not, loves me, loves me not. So I decided that I needed stickers of flowers to go behind and then put he loves me, loves me not. You know, the reference to plucking the petals off of the daisies. I think Carla embossed this. And I just love this, the sundial thing. And I wanted it with the orange and the black to kind of bounce off the orange from the flower on the other side. I love pear pictures, what can I say? And I like eating them too. This was about fruit. This is fruit, green and green, kind of trying to bounce them off of each other. The one thing that I did wrong with this page is I glued all the images upside down. <laughs> and I noticed it after I'd already sewn them in. And I was like, uh, it's going to stay. <laughs> so here's my upside down fruit. Oh, look, now it's right side up. <laughs> we all have books like this. This, what are these guys? I, oh, these are textured buttons. This is a duck. No, it's, this is all based on color. Nothing else. Ducks and buttons really don't have a whole lot in common. And these were kind of creepy little figures that I cut out of a Prim's magazine, but I like them. Somebody's doll making stuff. Uh, what is this behind here? I don't even know what that is back there. Well, it's some kind of food, but I can't tell you what it is. These were trees, and I thought I had leaves that would make it look cool and all I did was glue them on and covered up the trees, <laughs> the branches. Now you can barely see them. Uh, not a great choice, but you know, it is what it is. This one's based on pumpkins. I found uh, lots of pumpkin magazine, I mean pumpkin photos in magazines because I had a fall issue of some kind. I think it was good housekeeping. And so I cut all the pumpkin pictures out that were like sitting on people's porches in the magazine. And then I found the word pumpkins. And so I did a two page spread about pumpkins. This came from Carla at Cage Fish. She embossed it and nope, this is my stamp. I did this. 
This came from Carla. This is mine. I embossed this on black cardstock with some heavy duty um, embossing powder. That I don't know what kind it is, but it sits up really nice, has good texture. This came from Carla. I just love that face. It's the face of an angel. This one's about love, and that's a sticker. This is just a picture out of a magazine. There's another sticker. Um, and this says old red shoes. And the reason I put the red on here is so that I could use the hearts and the, all the red kind of ties together. This is about black and white. Thimble, UPC, a clock face. I, I think I card this from an eraser and then stamped it on white cardstock. This is some doodling that I have from the past that I photocopied onto cardstock, put that in there. And this was a leftover from cutting this guy out right here. But I liked it on the page. I hated to waste it because it's got such great texture on it. There are more of those little tiny envelopes that came out of that, that uh, book. And then I just doodled all over them, put washi tape on them. I really like these guys. I, I wish I had photocopies so I could keep using them over and over. This is about numbers. Everything in here has a number on it. This is ephemera from different places, ephemera from different places, and I think this is a magazine picture. There's some washi on here. I did the washi in the background for the ruler. This one... Um, the inspiration for the whole thing is this little guy right here. And I put a little bling on the top of his head. This is a picture of a cookie. It's a chocolate cookie. And it's cut into a Christmas tree. And I liked it so much, I decided to put these little puffy round... What do they call these? Some kind of dots. They're not pop dots, but they're some kind of dots. I just love those dots. And that's, can you see the, no, I can't see them sticking out. But they feel really good. This is all based on this. This was the inspiration. And I, something happened, and I ended up having to put washi tape in here. It's not sticking very well. I need to go back and glue it. But this is all painty paper. There's the word heart. And then I found a puffy sticker that I got from Dollar Tree on something and used that in there. And again, this is my uh, painty paper. It says, in the midst of all the sorrow, help me to practice gratitude every day. And because it mentioned every day, I put calendars in there that I had in my small images box. Um, one, two, three of these are my drawings, my doodles, the leaves. Then this was a rubber stamp that I carved. And this was... Mm, where did I get this button from? This is a stamp that I have in a stamp set, and I stamped it on white cardstock. I like color in the background with black and white images. This came from Carla. It is the embossed, uh, I call him the Tin Man, but he's some kind of a machine, and he's got the head of the Tin Man. Can't see him very well, but he looks really good in person. And because he has a pointy head, I decide I need something else with a pointy head over here. This is a, oh, this is a gnome made out of a pine cone. Here's the pine cone. There's a styrofoam head. And then they sewed a felt hat. And then I put a little uh, butterfly on the top, butterfly sticker on his little felt hat and glued him on top of a stack of books so he would kind of mimic the guy on the other side. This is just a plant out of the Good Housekeeping magazine that I liked. And so then I took some, uh, this came out of my image binder and I just fussy cut around it and put it in there. So there were flowers on both sides. This is Freddy, oh, I can't think what his name is. Son of a gun. The guy who's the lead singer from Queen who has passed away. He's been dead for a long time. Um, and I love him. He's posing in this picture. So I cut it out. 
Then I, I found another image that was round to mimic what the yellow in his um, jacket and glued him around the image of, the, I think this was a flower. So his head is in the middle of the flower. Then I just drew, oh no, this is painty paper behind it. It just so happened it had something that would mimic or bounce off of this, the same type thing on the painty paper. So that was like the perfect setup. I didn't even try hard on that one. This is about Dory and what's his name? I had, he's a clownfish, and I had a sticker of a clownfish, found this in a magazine, cut that out, and had to put the little clown sticker in there. I mean, how could you not put the little clown sticker in there? He's so cute. This is just butterflies, and a sticker, and a word. These were punched. These were images that came off of a sheet from Dollar Tree. This is just about the gold and the kind of sepia color. This was something that came off of a card from Dollar Tree, a sticker card. This is a, f a cardboard chipboard ephemera. This is something that came out of a magazine. This image I've had for a long time. I've been dying to put it somewhere, just never could find the right place. So I used it on this page because it, may it pulls in the color from the other page. Then, of course, I have the another beach scene. These are all stickers. Then I think all these stickers came from Hobby Lobby. But I like them. And then the last page were some miscellaneous images that I think I got from Carla that had, absolutely had to go in here. Love the orange. Alrighty. So there's my... Ode to Large Marge from Cindy Utter. And that'll do it. So thanks everyone for watching. If you want to flip through of something else, let me know in the comment section. Bye.